Well, I, I, I believe, I believe, uh, you know, uh, as any agnostic, I believe that there are so many things that are entirely unknowable that it's, it's, uh, it's better to abandon yourself to the wisdom of the universe or its indifference, uh, as Albert Camus would say, you know, is you can abandon yourself to the cold embrace of, of the universe or its warm embrace, depending on what vibe are you in. But, but there is, however, uh, like in fractals, like in uh, so many things, there is chaos contained uh, within order, an order contained within chaos, and a constant flow between the two. And, and I think that uh, the beauty of understanding that is that you understand that there is a functional model to the universe, whether it's expanding, contracting, and therefore completely changing the rules of time and space and this and that, and generating everything that we consider paranormal or, or spiritual. I don't know. But there is a flow. There is an order. There is um, a function to it. And, and, I, and I think that that allows us to dream our own mythologies. So I have constructed my own, my own sort of uh, personal religion, you know, which doesn't depend on a guy in the sky that I pray to, but that does depend on trying to be as good a person as I can be. And I'm not a good person all the time, but I allow myself to, to understand that too. And I just think that, uh, you know, that's, that would be the fundamental belief that, uh, you know, the Greeks, the Greeks used to say, we, should, we don't need good government, we need good citizens. And I think in the same way, religion and spirituality, it doesn't need a great church or it doesn't, you don't need to belong to a great church. You just need to try to be a good man to a certain degree, you know, as good a man as you can be. Whatever that measure is, be it you're a serial killer or a war hero or a Samaritan, whatever you are, be, be as good a man as you can be.